What is going on guys, it is Blink here back with another guide. Now in this guide, I'll be showing you guys two super quick and insanely good strats to use on your eco rounds to guarantee the round. Now before we do get started, let me know your favorite map in the game so far. With Ascend being you, I have a feeling a lot of you guys are enjoying it, but I'm curious to know what you guys like. Lastly, I do stream on Twitch almost every day, so if you guys have the time, come stop by and say hi as I'd really, really appreciate it. Alright guys, let's get it started. So, this video is going to be short and sweet and I'll go through two simple yet super effective strats on your pistol or eco rounds. The first one we'll go over is the Haven Triple Mid Take Smokes. Now, I unfortunately have not saved multiple clips of me doing both of these strats, so I'll be showing you guys one which fully explains how it works. So you'll simply want to set up all three smokes down throughout the right side of B, making sure all three smokes are connected as you don't want to leave any gaps. This will now allow you and your teammates to walk through all three smokes in three different positions. So you can either veer towards A site, veer towards back of B site, or sit on top of the boxes in B site and wait for the smokes to dissipate. Now, I've never really tried sitting on the B site boxes as I don't think that's your best option, especially because you want to use this strat at a maximum of one time. Even two times if you really want to risk it as you can either go A1 round and since they'll expect the A push, you'll then go to the back of B site the second time. Now, let me explain why this strategy is so good. So, when you've triple smoked off B site, most players don't even know what's going on until it happens. And if you're wondering if this works against Immortals and Valorant players, then yes it does as me and my teammates have done it plenty of times during competitive against them. So, when you've triple smoked off the site, that one player on B now has to choose to either watch the back of B site or outside of B by A. And most of the time, he'll sit on the back of B site or on the opposite sides of the smoke smokes as he doesn't know what's going on or he knows and he's holding the smoke push on the back of B site. Now you can see in this example this A player got timing and stopped holding the smoke as we pushed through. And on top of this we even broke the sage wall and these players were still pretty confused as to what was going on. Usually what you want to do is bait that sage wall first that way you can break it. But overall this still worked super well. So you guys can add this into your save rounds to help you basically guarantee the round once you've made it through the smokes. Now moving on guys, this next strategy is the sage wall on bind. This is a strat me and my teammates run every single time if our opponents do not have a raised player. What you'll want to do is smoke off three choke points. You'll smoke off the left and right side of bathrooms and then heaven. You'll then have two players go out, the sage and another player holding angles for the sage as your sage places an ice wall across the site. This will now allow you and your teammates to guarantee the bomb plant and make it way harder for the opponents to get through the wall as they only have pistols. Time will be ticking and you'll have teammates peeking once in a while to keep delaying the bomb. So now you're at post plant, how you want to play is have one player with a shorty playing close around bathrooms while two of you guys peek one by one. The goal is to delay the bomb as long as you can and you do not want to fully commit to the shots. So anytime your opponents are on the bomb, just take a few shots, back away and delay it even longer. You also want two players to rotate towards mid to hold the cross, that way your opponents now have to hold two different angles. Simply just delay it as long as you can and you'll have the round no problem. Now, why I mentioned not doing the strat around raise is because a raise player will usually play around the bathrooms by default on bind. The issue with raise is that she's got explosives that she can throw over top of the wall or break the wall with ease. It's really not worth doing with raise because she'll just put on plenty of damage over top of the wall. So just keep that in mind. Well guys, hopefully I was able to explain both of these strategies well enough. If you guys do have any questions, then ask away in the comments below. If this guide did help out, then a like and a sub will be greatly appreciated as it does help me out a lot. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and hope you have a great rest of your day and night and I'll see you on the next one.